Chef Charles is Speaking on TV of layers. with us today. Oh, Chef Charles, you got any onions in here? Speaking of layers. We've got a few. Onions, 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 have, onions layers. have layers. Ogres have layers. That's, That's right. right. Ogres <laughs> have layers. Yeah, so, uh, well, Happy New Year to everyone. Happy New Year. Great. It's gorgeous. Yeah, you know what we're doing? We're going to ease into the new year. That's like kind it. of the goal today, right? So yeah. I wanted to show you some things that were really easy to do, but yet nutritious, and it'll keep you out of that fast food line. I love right? it. So mm -hmm. here's what we're doing here. We're going to do some beef tacos. And first off, I have to introduce the brand oh, new brand line new. of dressing. It's so new, it doesn't even have a label. Oh. That's how new it is. But it's a cilantro lime vinaigrette. Oh. And I can, love cilantro. And you can like, get that directly love. from us. So oh. yeah, you can reach out socials and all that. So here we've got some chopped beef. Uh, I've used a little beef tenderloin that was on sale. So uh, we're going to do that and get that going. We're going to start, speaking of layers, we're going to start layering our seasoning. Mm -hmm. A little black pepper. Uh -huh. A little ground cumin. Yeah. This is the smell that you're going to smell that reminds you of traditional Tex-Mex food. Sure. Uh, is yeah. the cumin, right? A little bit of garlic, granulated garlic. I like to use the granulated because it is a granule, so you can feel it in your hands versus the powder, Yeah. right? And a little bit of kosher salt here. So okay. we're going to get that going. And then in here, I've got a little chopped pepper, sweet pepper, onion, and then a little bit of jalapeno. So that's going to go right into the pan as well. So this is a really quick, like, five-minute yeah. meal, and you can, uh, you can have the family at the table in no time. I love to, that so many people think that you need to use, like, taco seasoning, but cumin does that. Yeah. It does. It gives you that flavor almost. Oh, that's a good point. So if you don't have that, don't worry about it. That's right. Yeah, you don't have to buy those seasoning packs. A lot of them are, have MSG in them, yep. which some people have adverse effects. Yeah. Load them with sodium. So if you buy your individual spices, they last almost forever. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you really can't go wrong with it. So uh, this takes just a few minutes. I've got a pan here that yeah. uh, so that good. is just about ready. So what we're going to do here, we're going to... We just are to do tortillas. We're going to do some tortillas I here. I like so that idea. Here's how we're, we're going to take this Simple off like easy. this. The Chef Charles trick. Here's the trick. Oh, now, I didn't oh. invent this. I know, but every time you do right. it, I'm like, it's genius. Now, this is the way to do it. Now, if you don't have a gas stove or if you don't have access to that, you can use a nonstick pan on your electric stove and yeah. do the same thing, right? Okay. See how that night gets nice uh, and a little char toasty? On That's right. And then this vinaigrette, it's great with anything of that Tex-Mex variety, salads, mm -hmm. Uh, wraps, tacos. Is that, is that in here too? That is what that is. Yeah, we're going to put the taste. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it has a little bit of heat on the back yep, end, but not do. too much. Not too much. We're going to get Amber started here. But look how nice and healthy that looks and delicious. Mm -hmm. And it's that fast, right? It's that fast. So let's put a little bit of, uh, whoa, Cody's going to have one a little yeah. bit more toasted. <laughs> That's all right. I like them charred. There you go. There you Amber, go. Thank give that you. a try. We're going to give this to Cody here. Oh, I, I like the warmth of the tortilla. Yeah, that's the warm tortilla. Idea. Anytime you have tortillas, you have to warm them up because it warms up the, oh. the fat that's in there and it makes it a lot more malleable. Pop. Cody? Thank you, you so much. But it's so good. Mm -hmm. Now, you could use oh, chicken with this. You could do shrimp even if you wanted to. Uh, you could even do pork if you like. Oh, that's so good. Can I have even more dressing? Please, help yourself. That dressing is perfect with yeah, the peppers and everything. It just, like, mm -hmm. the citrus brings it all out. Yeah. So good. It does, mm -hmm. yeah. The little bit of acid in so there helps, good. like, wash everything off your palate, so you really taste all the flavors. And you notice we didn't, uh, we, we left a little bit of the peppers al dente, mm -hmm. so you didn't kind of cook them all the way to the end, and there's a little bit of textural contrast as well. I think that's hugely important, too, when you're doing the taco style, right? Because mm -hmm. you don't want to just bite into mush. That's like, right. That's, now, sometimes, I've, you know, if I'm doing like a taco bowl or something like that, I don't mind it. But You know what I like to do real quick is I like to take tortilla chips, crumble them up, put them on top. Yeah. Now, that's a good mm. textural contrast yeah. as well. That's a good idea. So that's another thing. I, I like to crunch. do that. I yeah, love, too, that right. you just, you were like, yeah, the sirloin was on sale, so that's what I grabbed. Because I think right. everybody immediately yeah. either goes to ground beef or, you know, I don't want to do steak because it's so yeah. expensive. Just mm -hmm. buy what's on sale. Yeah, get what's on sale. And use pork, whatever. Oh, excuse me. Here's a, a, another thing, too, Chef Charles, is, you know, a lot of times people think, i got to cut the onion, the peppers. They sell a lot of this stuff just pre-made, too, ready you to go. If that. you're in a rush. Yeah, and if you're in a rush or if you don't feel good about your knife skills, now, I want you to use your knife. Sure. I want you to get in there and do it. Yeah. But if you're a little apprehensive or if you're in a rush, again, do that. That way, again, it keeps you out of the fast food lines, mm -hmm. which is what we want. And it teaches your kids, this is how fast and easy this is to do, and it's really healthy and delicious. That's so it's good. Really